Hi, this is Tom Boyk, lead teacher for technology for District 33. I want to show you two things about Socrative. I want to show you how to get students into your class, and then I also wanted to show you how to run reports after those students have taken the quiz. So to have students enter your class, it's actually quite simple. Once they get into the student access portal of Socrative, have them simply type in your class number. You can see I've highlighted my class number. My, my class number is 401023. The nice thing is that it's, it's the same number each time. The bummer is that it's a six digit number, so it's not necessarily the easiest, nor do you have the ability to edit it. But for a student to access your class, all they have to do is get to the student access portal. So go to Socrative.com, click on where it says I'm a student, and enter in that room number. And then they'll be part of your room. Um, after students have taken your assessments, um, whether it be space race or the quiz or whatever, you do have the ability to look at the reports. Um, you can look at it instantly right after they've completed the quiz or you can wait till later. So let me go ahead and, and show you what, it, what the reports uh, menu looks like. So to get to reports I click on manage quizzes and then the reports buttons in the bottom right hand corner. You can see that Socrative will actually remember all of the different assessments that you have that you have given. So um, you don't necessarily have to record those results right after you uh, proctor that quiz or play that game or whatever. So I'm actually just going to click on that space race example and then you get the report screen. So you have the ability to have the report emailed to you. You do have the ability to download um, the report. You can have a whole class Excel or you can have an individual student PDF. So in other words, each student's going to have one piece of paper and that the last thing you'll have is a question specific PDF. So instead of having each student have a, a piece of paper, each question is going to have its own piece of paper. If you've linked your Google Drive, you can download re the results to Google Drive. Um, you can just simply view the chart. So in other words, if you just want to look at the answers right here on your screen, um, you can do that or you can just view them later. But I'm going to go ahead and just view chart. So now what I'll see is an, the results of a quiz that I almost completed the other day. Um, but again, you'll see the student name, you'll see the score, you'll see um, their answers. It'll be green for correct and red for incorrect.